contractor wants to meet us to talk about electricals. Good thing about staying nearby is that I can just drop over anytime. Uh, since I'm early, I'm gonna see if our stuff has been delivered. Cause she told us that the towels are actually gonna be delivered today. While we're waiting for the HDB permit, I mean renovation permit to be done, uh, we can deliver the towels first. So, yep, some stuff. I don't know if it's mine. Doesn't have my unit number on it. Let's see those, if those are ours. <coughs> so all these are our stuff. Uh, they said it's gonna be uploaded. I, I'm not sure if uploaded means like min move into the unit. <coughs> but yeah, those are our stuff. Okay, so I'm up here alone. It's 1.10. Um, she said she'll be late around 1.20. So just chilling in this place with our lonely fan over there. all the ingredients already. This is um, 100 grams of caster sugar, 105 grams of almond flour, um, 90 grams of icing sugar. Uh, I previously used 105 grams according to the recipe but it was a bit too sweet. Got this cute little chick that apparently helps you to separate the egg yolk from the egg white. Let's see if it works. Okay, that's done. I'm also adding these two packets of French grey tea leaf into the, the dry mixture. Just so it has the speckled tea leaf look. because the original recipe actually didn't call for this. It's just um, normal macaron shells with a grey buttercream and a grey custard. I just like the look and I just want the stronger like a grey-ish taste. But this is French grey because I only have French grey. So let's place egg white and granulated. Oh no, this is the version. Okay, so I think they make a Swiss meringue. I'm actually gonna make French meringue, which is basic, cosmetic basic. I actually tried the Swiss meringue before, but it sucked. So basically, you whisk your egg white till it's bubbly, and then you add in your sugar in batches. It should form stiff, stiff peaks. You can see it's starting to like become streaky and thicker. So how the test for stiff peaks is that when you do this, it should point like this but straight up. So right now this is not stiff peaks because it, it still flows. But at this point you need to keep checking because it breaks down really fast. Another 
other way to test you can do this and it stays. Okay, they call this the J4 because you cut it down the middle and then scoop it to the side like a J. So you're supposed to fold it until it becomes a glossy texture. Uh, I've seen some recipes call it ribbon-like consistency, that it just kind of falls from your spatula. But this particular recipe I, I follow, it's pretty good, like, it tells you how exactly to test if it's ready to be piped. So they have a few um, tests, there's one that's called the figure 8 so you pick up some and it's supposed to fall and flow so right now it's not flowing so this is not ready you need to fold it a few more times so if it's the correct consistency it's supposed to be able to flow off your spatula and not break and you should be able to draw figure 8 so not like that chunk over there you just saw then there's one more that's called the teaspoon test so you take a teaspoon and you pick up some and drop onto parchment paper, it should actually uh, flow a bit. So normally when you drop off something, there should there will, it will end with a point on top. So it it's supposed to slowly flow out and the point on top will actually just uh, resolve itself, like it will flatten out. Like there's two different ways. So I don't want to waste parchment paper, so I'm using the figure 8 test. So I like this particular look, like you can actually see the tea leaf specks in it. That's why I decided to put the tea leaves in. It's almost there. You can also start to see that it becomes like glossy. So they say when you reach this state, fold about three more times and then test again. It shouldn't be too watery to the point that it just keeps flowing and it, it's difficult to control. Okay, this looks about done. I'm gonna transfer it to your to my piping bag. I actually don't have a piping bag. Uh, I just use those regular plastic bags and I put it into a cup. Then you just can cut it and then it's done. I bought these cute, um, what's this called? Silicon baking mats. They're only about two dollars plus from Shopee. I'll leave the, the link in the description below. So I bought two. One thing good about this one is that they actually have the template for small and then the bigger macaron and heart shape. And if you mix the big circle with this heart shape, um, Brown, I don't know what you call these corners, it can create a bear. So it can form one, two, three, four, four different types of macaron shells. Okay, so it's a bit of a mess. I realize I should have split it probably into two bags. So now I need to clean up my mess of the macaron. It's difficult to control because the piping, uh, the bag was too heavy, so I think the, the, the parts at the top just kind of push everything down. That's why you have this like chunk here that 
gonna stop flowing. So I think I might just clean up this chunk here and redo. This is icing sugar, cornstarch, butter, and then the vanilla crystals. So these four are for the buttercream. This here is the milk. I need to spoon out about two teaspoons later for the for the buttercream as well. Um, caster sugar. They told me for one large egg yolk, but I'm just reusing the egg yolk from the eggs, egg whites just now, and uh, five grams of butter. So the butter is all unsalted. This four here is for the custard. Okay, right now the milk is on the stove. Just waiting for it to like heat up. Then I need to add in two tablespoons of sugar. So that's about like one, two, Dissolve all this sugar and that part is done. In another bowl, whisk the yolk and the remaining sugar and cornstarch together. Cornstarch, yolk and sugar. Egg yolk. Oops. So it's like that. It's supposed to lighten in colour. So I need to add all the milk to this mixture. Um, the recipe calls this tempering egg, so like you don't actually cook the egg. So if you do accidentally pour too much and accidentally cook some egg yolk, they ask you to actually pour it back into the saucepan uh, through a sieve. So you filter out all the cooked eggs. Okay, time for the stressful part. Uh, according to the recipe, it will turn a bit lumpy. It starts to look lumpy and then it will thicken and smoothen out, becoming a rich and silky pasta. Okay, my hand is burning at the moment. It says do not stop stirring at any point because it will cook and then it will burn. So, yeah. Oh, it's thickening, it's thickening. Oh, look at this. Pretty nice. 
it looks a bit like peanut butter. So, uh, they actually tell me to put it in the fridge for a couple of hours until completely chilled. Uh, but previously when I did that, then it became sort of like a jelly, which is kind of difficult to pipe onto the macaron. I don't know what will happen if you leave it at room temperature to cool and so. Uh, the macarons are now in the oven. It's set for 160 and 18 minutes, so yeah. Let's see how they turn out. Checking in at the 10 minute or so mark. It's looking good! Yay! Okay, some of them have little bumps here and there, but they look pretty good. It's rising nicely. They have feet! Yay! Okay, I think I made some of them a bit high. Oh well. All the macarons are baking, so I'm gonna do the buttercream filling. So what do we say to start with is sift the icing sugar. So I have uh, quite a bit of milk, so I'm going to add it in, in batches. Okay, this looks pretty good. Yes. It looks decent it looks like tea uh this one this is the first batch and the, on the bottom rack this is actually cracked so it might be a little bit too hot this one looks good i can probably reduce the time so i still have about this much left i can go for second round yay okay so this is round two i'm also changing the placement of the two trays one was already on the second and the bottom one but I think the bottom one cracked like all of them cracked so now I'm changing to the top which is not very visible here and then this is the second tray I also changed the time to be 16 minutes instead of 18 cause I think it might be a bit too hot yeah but it looks okay now okay so the, the second batch is out this was on the second tray, so like it looks a bit undercooked, it's still white. The small one is very cooked because, I mean, it's small. Oh, that's very crispy. And like the ones at the corners are more brown. This is the one on the first, first tray, um, minus this two. So these look like a little burnt, but I quite like the colour because it's like tea colour. And these also have feet, but the white ones don't. But this is so clean. Hello. Someone broke into our house and gave us a lot of tiles. So, actually, I got nothing else to say. <laughs> what? Right, I got nothing else to say. Check two, cause that was obviously a fail. So uh, I think yesterday they started work. Um, they protected our doors, which is nice. <laughs> they also started hacking off the slope for the main entrance, cause I wanted the curb to prevent the water from coming in when they wash. So yeah, this is the current situation. I washed this towel because it it was. Totally not this color, it was this color. Take this coconut milk. 
It says this is coconut milk. And I don't know what's that over there. They actually settled, I think, our electricals for the kitchen because they need to overlay the backsplash. So they, that's the first thing they have to do is to settle the kitchen electricals and the placement for where everything will be. Um, I think it's a pretty nice job because they actually did conceal wiring. So that's good. They also marked out everything on the walls and which one to be hacked off with this X. Then where the placement of the stuff will be like dishwasher, uh, LED lights, hood, hood here, and then the hop is gonna be here. But I think I think, it's really I think it went, it got erased because she wrote it that day. Since we are not covering this part of the wall, right, and we are changing the backsplash, we're gonna screen this whole thing to be like white. We are also changing that bomb shelter door. I mean, not door, the vent to be uh, not protruding. We are also shifting the the socket. So it used to be here with the casement. Then uh, it's now inside. Actually, I don't understand this drawing. Why? Why? I don't know. Why? Like, what does it even mean? That's the pipes. Then I think it's supposed to. It means this one to move here. But the arrow is. I don't know. They are drawing. As long as they do it, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. So I think the next thing will be hacking. Our kitchen backsplash towel that is very dirty. Our floor towels for the majority of the house will be this light colored one. The dark colored one will be here, and the other another other bedroom. So those are like for more cozy sleeping areas. Uh, this is the dry laying of the towels for the master toilet accent wall which they have already started preparing for oh you can't see uh, yeah so they started putting cement over it yeah and they unwrapped our toilet bowls well these are the accent wall for the common toilet there's two different towels uh, I think it's like some variation as well. Yeah, so, no, no, it's different. I think they're supposed to be like stacked on top of each other for it to like go nicely. Yeah, I think it's just nice because you see like this yeah, flower yeah. with that that flower, then this uh this bottom white color piece with this one. So our oh, very black floor towel. Oh, it feels nice. It's quite dusty. No, <laughs> it's quite like rough. So I think it's good for anti slip purposes. Oh, they're actually late. Really? They actually put him here already. Yeah, they did one layer. Yeah, so it's one layer. Uh, I don't know how they gonna run the water water proofing thing though. And then all our marking for the electricals, the shift and everything. So like we're getting off. We don't we don't want the TV. So we're sitting off all the TV ports. We are shifting this one inside. And this as well because um, we want to hide it behind the TV console. I like that they actually like wrapped up the socket, so that's good. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Very anticlimactic. <laughs> Actually in the Giri Sembilan, but whatever. <laughs>